my clock. I can't stop. Make my 40 pop. The Boruto anime is finally back, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some spoilers about the upcoming Kata organization arc. The first episode of the Kata actuation arc is going to be episode 157. I just want to clarify this upcoming Sunday is going to be episode 156, so don't expect to see any Kata organization content in the next episode, or possibly in the last two minutes, we might see something. But just understand that this right here is going to be the next Sunday, so the title is going to be Traces of Kata. Going into the actual paragraph, it says, Based on the intel that they acquired from Shojoji, the the boss of the Mujin Bandits, Sasuke and Sai visit the location in the Hidden Rain Village that seems to be a hideout for the mysterious organization Kata. Due to an incident that occurred there in the past, the underground waterway is now off limit and restricted from access. However, Sasuke and Sai immediately try to start their investigation. Then someone who knows about the Kata, Touno Garashi, appears in front of the two of them. With Garashi leading the way, they embark on their search and inquiry into the hideout. Alright, now the first episode of the Kata organization starts off extremely plot heavy. The overall sense of this episode is going to be all about the Kata organization. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to absolutely love it, man, because we have Sasuke in the episode. We know whenever we see Sasuke in a Boruto episode, the episode is usually going to be absolute fire. One thing I do want to say is that there's probably not going to be a lot of action to begin the arc, so of course, there's probably not going to be a lot of action in this specific episode as well, but there is probably going to be a lot of information and a lot of tea being spilled about the Kata organization. Also, they are in the Hidden Rain Village. Now, if you guys have not seen my previous video about this, or if you guys have not necessarily been keeping up to the Boruto sports that has been leaking, there has been a snippet of of Sasuke and Sai walking around the Hidden Rain Village and they also meet up with this guy called Garashi. So we already have a sense and idea of how exactly the situation is probably going to go down and how the episode in its entirety is probably going to look. You guys are seeing it right here. It looks extremely gloomy. It looks extremely serious. It looks like going to be a very serious tone mainly because they are talking about a very serious topic, that being the Kata organization. But regardless, into the next episode, episode 158, the title is going to be The Man Who Disappeared. Going into the actual paragraph, it says, Boruto and his comrades of Team 7 have been ordered to go on a mission to search for a laboratory researcher from a medical care manufacturer whose whereabouts have become unknown. However, the client lives in a distant, faraway country. In addition, the missing laboratory researcher works on looking for novel, useful materials and ingredients for medical technology purposes. His job entails traveling to various places, and so it would seem to be difficult to search for someone whose location isn't even known. For the sake of Team 7, it's been arranged for someone who is familiar with the terrain, Mujino, to guide and try to help them on the mission. As a Jonin who embarks on long-term military campaigns and missions, Mujino is also someone whom Saratobi Konohamaru knows very well. Together with Mujino, Boruto and his comrades of Team 7 start their mission, but then, alright, now here's where we get the introduction of Boruto going on his mission. Now, off the rip, one thing that I didn't notice is that the mission is going to be centered around pretty much a scientist. Now, what we understand from the Kata organization is that they have very, very big interest in scientists and their information. So, of course, this being a scientist that has quote-unquote gone missing, this could possibly be the doing of the Kata organization and obviously this being a Kata organization arc it would not be a surprise at all if the scientist actually fell into the Kata organization hands. Putting on my board to historian hat there has been two scientists before in the anime of boards that has been altered allegedly by Kata members. If you guys do remember the Hidden Leaf scientist which is Katasuke he had very very early stages of scientific technology. He was put under a Genjutsu by a member of the Kata organization very very early in the tuning exam and of course because of that the Kata organization got that information and intel as well. Another example of this is in the Mitsuki retrieval arc back when Mitsuki was kind of going rogue and trying to find his way. The scientist from the Hidden Stone Village was never found. At the end of the arc, he was completely missing, and a lot of people automatically assumed that that was the doing of the Kata organization. Now, that scientist specifically had a lot of information and intel about synthetic human beings. Of course, Orochimaru is possibly the top tier upper echelon of synthetic human beings as far as creations and clones, but let's be honest, Orochimaru is not going to be a very easy person to one, put under a genjutsu, or two, to kidnap. Orochimaru being monitored 24 7 by Jonin, and of course, Orochimaru being Kage level, I would strongly doubt that the Kata organization are probably going to try to make a move on Orochimaru this early into the game. But regardless for the mission to be surrounded around a scientist, the Kata organization implications are heavy already. Now, the next episode is episode 159. Tao's going to be Hashirama Cells. Now, off the rip, just the titles, man. When are we going to let this man Hashirama rest? Into the actual paragraph, it says, Boruto and his comrades have finally located the missing laboratory researcher. However, his appearance and demeanor has completely changed. He's lost control over himself. While battling against the laboratory researcher, whose rampage 
rampaging with all his might. Boruto and his comrades want to somehow bring him home safely to their client's location. Then the president of the medical care manufacturer company, Victor, appears. He's been accompanied by his own search party, as they've been looking for this laboratory researcher as well. And so they restrain the laboratory researcher and take him away immediately. The mission for Boruto and his comrades has ended in failure. Meanwhile, an unusual phenomenon occurs within Mitsuki's body. All right, wow, things have actually taken a very, very big turn. Now, if you guys do not know, last week there were two Kata organization characters that were announced. They released the scans and the names of both the Kata organization members. Now, one of the members, his name is going to be Victor. Now, as I spoke about earlier in this video, the Kata organization have very big interest in scientists and also their information and research. Now, just to reread this portion of the spoils, it says, then the president of the medical manufacturing company, Victor, appears. He's being accompanied by his own search party as they've been looking for the laboratory researcher as well and so they restrain the laboratory researcher and take him away immediately a couple of things it seems like victor and his search party are very adept it seems like they were very capable of restraining the laboratory researcher and just pretty much taking him away while boruto and the rest of team seven were actually fighting and tussling with this laboratory researcher and it seems like they really couldn't get a handle of the situation so off the rip it seems like victor and his team are probably a lot more stronger than boruto and team seven but of course we wouldn't necessarily totally know until we actually see it but just off of the context clues right here it seems like we're dealing with some very very strong people now in my opinion i think this right here seems to be extremely fishy now if you guys don't know mitsuki is a synthetic human being he's pretty much a clone of rochimaru and i know i'm kind of beating this thing to death but the kata organization members they are very interested in scientific technology they're very interested in of course clone technology and everything else and mitsuki being a clone basically a perfect clone in himself there would be a lot of information to gain from just him period so a phenomenon occurring in mitsuki's body right after he's in close proximity with members from the kata organization that seems extremely fishy Maybe they want to take Mitsuki's body and analyze him if he does eventually possibly goes to the hospital. But the next episode is going to be episode 160. The title is going to be Heading Towards the Land of Silence. Now, in the actual paragraph, it says, Mitsuki is left behind with Yubina, who is a physician and Mujino's acquaintance. Since Boruto and his comrades want to track down some clues about the incident, they head out to the black markets in the Land of Silence. The Land of Silence has insufficiencies in its public order. It's become a lawless area where ninja and degenerate evil people gather people can't even be a little bit careless in an extremely dangerous area there are some people who run a shop and would serve as a good source of intel and so boruto and the others pay a visit to the ruffian shopkeeper after engaging in battle with a bouncer boruto and his comrades manage to somehow extract information out of the shopkeeper but then all right this episode right here in my opinion is probably going to be a very very interesting episode now it seems off the rip boruto is entering the trenches i don't even think i've ever heard of this before it said the land of silence i ain't gonna lie to you guys that right there just sounds like the trenches they basically outlined it it's a very lawless area so boruto and the rest of team seven they're gonna be beating a block up they're gonna be entering people's hood and this is gonna be a very different scene from what a lot of people are accustomed to in Boruto, in my opinion, it's going to be a very interesting scene, mainly because it's probably going to bring a lot of us back to the Naruto Shippuden, and possibly even before that, possibly the Naruto where everything was extremely unstable, and it's going to be even more heightened, mainly because Boruto and everybody else are going to be foreigners. They possibly are going to be wearing their hidden leaf headbands, and if that is the case, it's probably going to bring even more attention on them. And already, just by this paragraph, it seems like Boruto and the rest of Team Seven did come into combat with other people in that village as well. Now, on top of that paragraph said that Mitsuki was left back with a physician now I ain't gonna lie to you guys as I said this whole situation with Mitsuki seems extremely fishy as soon as someone from the Kato organization walks in Mitsuki starts feeling a little bit weird now Mitsuki's being left with a physician maybe that physician has some ties with the Kato organization they could basically poke and prod Mitsuki like he's a lab rat for all we know this is going to be a very interesting scene of course to see how cunning and how desperate these Kato organization members can possibly be for information and intel about scientific technologies clone technology and a whole bunch of other things but i'm not gonna lie to you guys these upcoming episodes in my opinion they look very good very appealing and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are probably gonna like them too but regardless i do want to know what you guys think which episode are you guys most likely going to be looking out for in my opinion i think the cod organization arc is going to be hitting the ground running episode 157 where sai and sasuke basically investigate the hidden rain village that episode is probably going to be a very interesting one but the one that i am most likely waiting for is episode 106 where boards and everybody else they're just walking through the trenches they're walking through an unknown land that's pretty much filled with a bunch of rogue ninjas and pretty much extremely lawless i wonder what you guys think it's me your boy barbie and we out it's a knife
flames, running from things. What we do for the game? Shorty want class, so she fought for the fame. Look with my eyes, man, I swear I won't change. Losing my mom, and I swear I can't.